how to level up your money game. That's the topic of today's video. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are trying to reach our financial goals together. So how to play the money game? There's only one information that you will need to know. So let me quickly switch to my beautiful whiteboard. So the only thing you need to know to play the money game is your net worth. Net worth is a simple calculation. You take all your assets and subtract all your liabil liabilities from your assets. So an asset usually is something that either um, can generate some rate of return for you or can also keep his, its value over time. So for instance, um, many people will consider their house or apartment as an asset. So if you would consider your house as an asset, maybe you had a down payment of 200,000, maybe the whole house is worth 1 million, but you have maybe a mortgage on your house. Uh, so the liabilities on the house are 800,000. So how much is your house worth in from your own perspective? The house, of course, is worth maybe 1 million if, if that's the market price. But from your perspective, it's worth 200,000. Basically, this is the money that you put into your um, into your house. Or maybe if the price fluctuates over time, it's your remaining value of the house. Um, other assets could be like, a, for instance, investments into stocks or mutual funds or ETFs. It could be just also like a cash lying around in your bank account. Then liabilities is everything that you own to other people. Could be like a mortgage to a bank, um, could be like a credit card debt, or if you borrow some money from, from friend, friends and family, this would also um, fall into liabilities. So do you have your network net worth figure. Um, if not, please stop the video and take, take some time to figure this out. At least you should have a rough idea um, what's your net worth. So let's start to play the game. Okay. In a previous video, we have already seen that money is just a doubles game. And that's exactly what we are going to do here too. Um, you see here, different levels. It's going from, if you don't have any net worth, you're at level zero. If you have around 1 million net worth, you will be at level 11. And I put it up to level 21, which would be 1 billion of net worth. Um, it also goes the way down. So if your assets are actually smaller than your liabilities, then you have a negative net, net worth. So then you would be on, on the red area here, um, maybe in the minus level here. Um, so are you able to figure out more or less which level you're currently at? Are you able to find your level? Um, let's say, for instance, if someone has a net asset of 50,000, he would be somewhere between level six to seven. So he's in, uh, at this level. Um, if you have a higher net worth, of course, you will be at the higher level. If you have a lower net worth, you, have, you will be at the lower level. So first step, are you able to figure out which level you are? Okay. Once you have, once you know your level, stick to this levels game. So if you are at level one, your game, the goal of the money game, is just to double your money um, in general as fast as possible but of course also considering the risk so if we don't want to lose all the money and go back to level zero or even go into debt if we're already somewhere above level one so let's say you're at level one if you're at level one your goal should be to achieve level two as soon as possible if you would be at level, let's say seven, your goal should be to achieve level eight as soon as possible. Um, again, if you're already at 11, 
uh, level 11, for instance, if you already have around 1 million, your goal should be to, uh, to reach level 12 as soon as possible. Always focus on your level. That's how the money game is played. Don't focus on other levels. So, of course you have an end goal potentially in mind. Maybe you're start, just starting out at level and you have a little bit of savings, so you're at level one. But your goal, maybe your long-term financial goal, is to retire um, a little bit early and you determine you either need, let's say, two million to retire early. I don't know if this is enough or not. This very much depends on the cost of living, um, on your living standards and also the area where, where you're living. So, but let's say you are currently at level one and your ultimate goal is maybe early retirement, at least financial independence, maybe even if you still continue to work, at least financial independence. So your goal is to achieve level 12. So at least have some idea where you wanna go. So what you need to focus now is not how you get from level one to level 12. What you need to focus now is just how you got get from level one to level two. Once you achieve level two, then your goal is just to achieve level three. Always focus on the next level. A little bit like uh, playing Mario Brothers. Um, in that game, you also go through level one by one. You cannot, usually you cannot just skip all the levels and go into level 12. And the game in each level is is different. Sometimes it's different, sometimes it's more difficult. Um, so for instance, if you're starting out, maybe what your main focus is just have a little bit of cost savings each month. And with, in one or two months with a few hundred dollars saved each month, you can quickly level up to the next level. If you're getting higher and higher on a higher and higher level, maybe cost savings, it's um, reducing your expenditures. It's probably not cutting the cake anymore. Maybe at that time you need to start to focus more and more on your income. And then again, if you're already on the very high level, maybe let's say you're already at level 13 or 14, maybe your income cannot drive uh, the next, drive you to the next level as fast anymore as possible. Maybe it will take years or even decades to get them to the next level. So maybe in this stage, you also need to have more and more focus on investments. So each level, regardless where you are, there's a different game to play and there's a, a different strategies to level up as soon as possible. Um, so just play your game. If someone is in debt, it's also the the goal is not to double your money as soon as possible then, but to halve your debt as soon as possible so that you can get out of debt pretty quick as soon as possible and start to level up on the positive side here. But again, the how to play the, the doubles game if you're in debt or in this case, your halving day, uh, halving game if you're in debt depends also on the level where you are. If you only have a little bit of debt, again, maybe you can just try to spend a little bit less and cut your, uh, your debt in, uh, into half as soon as possible. If you have a little bit more debt, maybe it's just having more uh, uh, reduce your spendings, maybe it doesn't make a huge difference. It will take too long until you, f you level up and finally get out of debt. Maybe in, in, yeah, in those levels, maybe you need to try to improve your income so that you also have a bigger money boost that can help you going through the level faster. If you're very deep into debt, um, maybe you need to take a look into, is it possible to restructure your debt somehow, to sell off some valuable assets if available, or like uh, negotiate some terms with, with your um, creditors. So it always depends where you are. Don't focus on other people's level, just focus on, on your level. So to sum this up, were you able to figure out which level you are playing? Do you have a rough idea how you can just double your money? 
Also, keep the an still keep the end goal in mind. What is what level is your end goal? Maybe write down in your comment uh, what end goal do you have. My end goal is probably somewhere between level 13 or 14, um, which I hope to achieve. Um, write down your end goal in the comments below. Um, and although maybe your end goal is much higher than where you are now, just focus on the current level and just focus to double your money as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for your time. I hope you enjoyed today's topic and I look forward to see you soon again and especially to see you win financially. Wish you a very happy day.